G'day, I'm Katrina. I'm Australian and I'm doing the Aussie book tag today because why the hell not? This tag was originally created by Julia from Picnic Reads and Nyok from Happy Comes First so I will leave links down below to their blogs and channels. The questions from this tag are inspired by really iconic Australian things and while you do have complete freedom over what books you want to use to answer these questions I've decided to restrict myself a little bit. I'm going to be answering these questions using only books written by Australian authors. Why? I really like to make things difficult for myself, obviously. I just want to spread the Aussie love and talk about books written by Australian authors, so that's what I'm going to do my best to do today. And without further ado, let's get onto the tag. Koala, a character you want to cuddle all day long. I'm going to go with the disreputable dog from Lyriel by Garth Nix, because one, it is a dog, so just a perfect cuddle buddy, and two, it's also more than a dog. I'm not going to say any more, just read the book to find out, but it would just be the perfect companion. Vegemite, a book that you love but everyone else hates. I really struggle with this one so I'm going to do a slightly different thing with this question and I'm going to go with a book that I loved but not enough people have tried and I want more people to read this book because every time I talk about it I feel like I'm shouting into a void and I just want other people to talk about this book with because it's one that you just need to vent about. That book is My Sister Rosa by Justine Labalestier. Che, the main character, his younger sister is a psychopath so he's trying to keep her in line because she's really good at acting as if she isn't a psychopath so her parents don't even realize it's creepy it's eerie. I love it. Socceroos, your favorite fictional squad. Alex and Co from the Madoran Chronicles. I really, really love the central squad that we have in these books. They just have so much love for each other. They would do absolutely anything for each other. So we have that really, really strong friendship group. And in addition to that, we meet some other characters that kind of create a secondary squad. I just love them. Oh, so much. So many amazing friends in these books that I want in my own life please. Southern Cross, most recent five-star read. That would be Dracora. This is the third book in the Medoran Chronicles by Lynette Noni. I loved it so much. Uh, like, the main thing that I found so fascinating with this one was the characters, again, just so many incredible people that we have in here, as well as the direction that this story is taking. Just everything's really amped up in the third book. Would recommend. Patriotism, favorite book by an author from your country. Echidna, a book you like to look at but it physically hurts to read. This question can be answered in two ways. It could be physically hurt to read because it's a shitty book or physically hurts to read because you are so emotionally invested and it breaks your soul. I'm going to be going with that one. For this I'm going with the Illuminae Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff with Illuminae and Gemina. There's just so much that happens in these books that just breaks your heart. The characters are put through so much in these books and it's really hard to deal with sometimes. Like I'd have to stop reading and just take a breath and prepare myself for what was to come because like were they going to make it out alive? What was, what was going to Ned Kelly, a book that is really grim but is an iconic must read. I'm going to go with the Tomorrow series by John Marsden. This is about a group of teenagers that go camping one weekend and when they return their town is completely deserted and essentially Australia has been invaded. It is quite grim, there's just a lot of death surrounding the characters but at the same time I think it definitely is a must read, a highly enjoyable series and it has been turned into a movie, one movie for the first book at least, and also a TV series which I haven't watched but should. Great Barrier Reef, a book that had you gaping in awe. Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. This book is based on a true story. It was about the last person to be condemned to death in Iceland, but it's a fictionalized version of the events leading up to that. The reason that this had me gaping in awe was one, because the writing was just absolutely superb, as well as the fact that although we do know how this story ends, because it is based on truth and it does stick to that fact, just the way in which it really makes you empathize with characters and it just was just didn't want it to end the way it did but it did anyway and it just <sighs> Pavlova a light and fluffy book that you can't help but love I didn't want to double up on any questions but I struggled to think of any other answers than Akane by Lynette Noni the beginning of the Madoran Chronicles is definitely quite light and fluffy things do take a bit more of a darker turn later on in the series but the beginning at least it definitely works for this question. Although there is this kind of ominous threat in the background and the characters are put into some dangerous situations, it didn't take away from the rest of the book when it was really light and fun and adventurous. Milo, a genre or author you reach for to get out of a reading slump? Definitely fantasy. Fantasy all the way. It's my favourite genre and I love being transported into new worlds, so 
it's what I lean for the most. And that is it for the Aussie book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As for people that I tag, I'm going to tag some of my fellow Aussie booktubers. Piera from Piera Ford, Jean from Happy Indulgence, Lily from Lily C Reads, Chammy from Read Like Wildfire, and Angus from Bookishly Angus. If anyone else would like to do this tag, then definitely feel free to do so. I tag you as well. But that is all that I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I post a video every Tuesday and Friday, so make sure to hit that notification bell to be alerted when I do post. But until next time, I will talk to you in the comments.